Hey everyone, back with another video here. This time we have the X Real One unboxing. This is the new pair of X Real glasses that have uh, built in 3 off. Uh, here you can see that it uh, has the model of X1111 and uh, it's got sound here by Bose. Um, one of the main differences with these pair of glasses from the previous iterations of the X Real Air glasses is the X1 chip. Uh, this chip um, is a spatial processor, and basically it provides 3DOF capabilities that your Beam and Beam Pro um, used to provide to the AR glasses line. Um, instead of an additional device, it's actually built into the glasses. Uh, here, uh, you have these badges that signify uh, TUV Reinheld certification or Rhineland certification, which is a uh, iComfort 3.0 certification. Um, that you can see uh, previous um, iterations of the X Real glasses uh, on online database actually have this certification as well, and other glasses that you can see on that same database uh, from other manufacturers. In the box, we've got the X Real case. Cover that last. You also have some prescription lens inserts here. And the last box holds uh, the manual, uh, polishing cloth, and some nose pads here. Oops, these are nose pads. And you can see. By default, as medium is installed, you have small and large, and then you have the polishing cloth here, if you get any fingerprints on it. Uh, this is the manual. So uh, on the initial page here, um, you have the uh, contents um, of the box. Um, you also have some uh, basic compatibility list. Uh, if you scan that with the barcode, you'll see all the devices that are compatible with the x -Real One. Um, you have information on the prescription lenses here. And basic getting started guide, uh, which we'll cover this when we look at the glasses. And additional information on what each piece um, of the x -Real One glasses have on them. And also the same angle adjustment that you have on the other x Real models. Really handy to fine tune um, your view if um, you know, you're not getting the um, exact clarity that you want. Um, very useful. And this is another thing that we'll cover when we look at the glasses is the detachable frames, which is pretty cool. So <laughs> eventually x -Real will provide frames or maybe even third parties, different colors, different designs that you can attach to it. Okay, this is the case. And you can see here it is um, a little bit smaller than the original case. And here are the extra glasses. Um, you can see there's no divider like the previous versions. Um, this will work with the previous um, x Real glasses case if you wanted to use that. Um, uh, one thing that stands out um, with this uh, model of x Real One is the hinges. So they've been improved. You can see here that it flexes. So one of the original problems of the um, first x Real Airs was um, uh, the damage that can uh, sometimes occur, you know, with those with larger heads um, where it would, it would snap and you'd have to send it back for repair. Looks like this is very similar to what, to what uh, Fitch, Fitcher has. Not the same, this is their own design, but um, this is a really good sign uh, that uh, x Real is listening to their customers. And um, yeah, it was nice not to have to attach any kind of a clip or heat shrink wrap 
you know, little hack that people have been doing in the past for the original errors. Um, but yeah, good to see. And uh, also you have the uh, flexible part of the temples here also that contribute to the longevity and durability um, of these glasses. Um, you also have these um, uh, frame inserts right here. And I won't pull them off, but um, it's easy to, to pop off. Actually, let me do that for you real quick. Let's see, these just come right off here. And you can actually uh, replace this, maybe make, you know, get a white one or a red one if you want to. Pretty easy to pop back on there. So looks very similar to previous versions of X-Real. You have the bird bath glass um, optics here, uh, the nose piece, and uh, there's this center piece here um, that has a little piece of uh, uh, rubber on it. And that is where the X-Real Eye, which is an upcoming camera, um, is going to go. So that's where that would be inserted there. Um, so for the rest of the buttons that you see here, um, the C button um, is on the top. So this is a um, like sort of like a, like a quick button or shortcut that you can customize within the X-Real menu, uh, which we'll cover in another video. You've got the uh, B button, which is the mode switch. This is your familiar uh, red button that you've seen on the Beam and the Beam Pro right there. Um, so it does the same thing. You can switch between um, smooth follow or anchor mode uh, using this button. Um, and then you have also the volume up and volume down buttons here. Um, this particular um, rocker, um, if you just tap it up or down, it will... Um, actually, I'm, so, I'm sorry, not volume. Uh, this is brightness. So if you tap it up or down, you'll be able to switch the um, brightness levels. So uh, quick press. Um, or if you hold down um, either minus or plus, it'll change to electrochromatic tint uh, modification, which will have three different levels on it. And we'll have a separate video showing you that as well. Um, but uh, pretty intuitive. You know, just hold it down and it will... Uh, show you a picture of some glasses um, in, uh, and three little lines, and you can adjust the brightness of your electrochromatic lenses. Um, one new feature here is an OSD or on-screen display that can be accessed via the quick button, right, or the um, uh, mode button, I'm sorry. And so you would do that by double tapping uh, the button, and you'd get an OSD, which we'll try to show you in another video as well. And uh, that will give you different options, like ultra wide uh, side view mode, uh, which um, you know uh, I wish it was on the button, but it's currently only um, anchor and um, uh, smooth follow. Uh, there may be a way to get that on the quick buttons. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, smooth follow, um, quick uh, anchor mode, side view. Fortunately, yes, it's still there. Um, there's uh, you can turn off stability, which turns off three off. Uh, there are other options like uh, ultra wide, which is really freaking cool um, in here, and you get and it works with Windows, it works with Samsung Dex and uh, um, other uh, operating systems and software. Um, yeah, really exciting stuff. Um, in the coming days, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the full video and uh, some shorts showing you the functionality of the glasses in uh, in real time uh, in in the real world. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs>